Welcome everyone to this communion table and here to worship our God today. I want to talk about something Jesus said on the cross. And Jesus said, forgive them for they do not know what they do. Have you ever thought of the power of forgiveness? Jesus in Matthew 6 writes that forgiveness has the power of salvation. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Paul would write to the church in Colossae that it was forgiveness that was part of being raised with Christ. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is your life appears, then you will also appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming. In these too you once walked when you were living in them, but now you must put them all away, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and obscene talk from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old self with its practices, and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. Here there is no Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on, then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another. And if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony, And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, Do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. It is through forgiveness that we can be one in body and purpose. Because forgiveness is a real show of love. In his book, Scott McKnight writes about a Lutheran pastor named Don Dorfler. Now, Don Dorfler worked with many hurt people. Don Dorfler's main ministry was in the prison systems. It was Don Dorfler who developed a victim-offender mediation program. It was mainly to help victims of horrendous crimes to achieve spiritual restoration. The criminals who participated did not benefit in any change to their sentences. After a lengthy and careful process, the victims and criminal came face to face. 
A mother whose daughter was raped and killed came to face her, her killer. She was a Christian and thought she had already forgiven the man. That was until she came face to face with him. She realized she had a much deeper level of forgiveness to explore. But through this process, she came to experience true forgiveness. And it led not only to her healing, but had a profound change on the offender. The man who had raped and killed her daughter did indeed die in the gas chamber. As for his last words, he recited the 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians. For his last meal, he requested the Lord's Supper. You want to see church growth? It won't be through our programs. It won't be through our facilities. It'll be through our forgiveness. Forgiveness is the true sign that we love one another. Because without forgiveness, there is no love. Without love, there is no body. Without a body, there is no head. Without Jesus, there is no salvation. Jesus cried from the cross, forgive them. As we partake of his sacrifice of these emblems, I pray that the cry from our heart is forgiveness. A broken body so we can be a body. Could I have two men come forward to serve communion? Heavenly Father, just thank you, God, so much that you did love us enough, Father, to see your son nailed to a cross. But not just nailed to a cross, Father, but to suffer the full wrath for all our sins, God. The Father, for him to experience your turning away from him so you could turn towards us. So God, we are just so grateful for the love that you have for us, Father, for the forgiveness that you have bestowed on us, God. And, um, and we know, Father, that real forgiveness is only through your power, God. And it is when we rely on you and put our hope and trust in you, Father, that we can not only experience forgiveness, Father, but we can give it to God. So just a blessing upon everyone here today, God, who gathers before this table, Father. And, uh, and God, just uh, bless this body, this broken bread, this cup, Father, to our bodies so we can be a body. In the name of your son, Jesus.